Across the country, a patchwork system of COVID-19 testing has left a trail of frustration and confusion. For example, in Nashville, Tennessee, hundreds of residents who were tested weren't told for weeks that they had coronavirus. Then in Alabama, the health department warned that testing turnaround time could take a week. Over in California, doctors warned that every week, testing is taking several more days to complete. Joining me is infectious disease epidemiologist, Dr. Saira Madad, who's the director of the Systems-Wide Special Pathogen Program at New York City Health and Hospitals. Dr. Madad, why isn't there any uniformity throughout the country when it comes to the time it takes to get test results back? Well, right now what we're seeing is the demand is outpacing supply, and this is something we've been seeing from the get-go. But the crux of the issue is there's no national strategy, not just for COVID-19 generally, but also for testing. And so what you're seeing is each state kind of has their own uh, infrastructure for testing. And this is where you're seeing some of the states have a very long wait time in terms of the turnaround time of getting results back. One week, two weeks, you're seeing some states with a couple of hours. And so there's a very wide discrepancy uh, when it comes to the testing, not just the turnaround time, but the frequency and the type of testing that's being conducted across the states. Is there a way to coordinate all this or is it just, you know, we're down, you know, the rabbit hole, just we just can't recover? If we had a good infrastructure at the national level that can coordinate everything, we would have a much more streamlined process. But from a physician standpoint and for those that are in the clinical setting, we need to make sure that, you know, we're doing diagnostic testing that's able to tell us if this patient is actively infected with COVID-19 so we can take the appropriate steps. Testing is just one thing, but then having an intervention that goes along with it, that's really what we're aiming for. So just because you know that you know you have COVID-19, what are you going to do after that? So we want to make sure that we're testing the right people at the right time with the right type of test. Okay, so besides these shortfalls when it comes to getting results back in a timely manner, there's also an issue when it comes to accuracy of the test. For example, YouTuber Erin Guilfoy documented how her saliva test came up positive but her nasal test came up negative. Then there's Ohio Governor Mike DeWine. He received a po false positive result from an antigen test, and it's said to be extremely rare to actually get a false positive result from that kind of test. So let's unpack these testing discrepancies. So Dr. Madad, first of all, what does the term false positive mean? So false positive and false negative are terms that we use in terms of looking at the sensitivity and specificity of a test. So when you have a false positive, that means that you are actually not infected with COVID-19, but your test results is saying that you do. And then vice versa, you know, if your test result is negative, uh, but a false, uh, you know, negative means that you truly are infected with COVID-19. And so the specificity and sensitivity of these tests do matter when it comes to diagnostic testing. So not all testing is created equal. So some are much better than others in terms of telling you with a higher confidence that yes, this truly is a positive or this is true, this truly is a negative. But what we're seeing is the golden standard for COVID testing is PCR. But with PCR, what you're seeing is it requires a lot of supply chain components, these reagents, you know, the pipettes, you know, that, that whole supply chain aspect. And that's where a lot of that bottleneck is right now across the nation. Another thing about these, you know, molecular tests is that they are highly sensitive. And so they can't differentiate between whether you're actively infected right now or whether you recovered and what they're picking up is just remnants of the virus three months out. But PCR testing is the golden standard. Antigen testing is something that is uh, new as you're having point of care rapid testing at the bedside. You're also having tests that you can do at home. But at the bottom line, it means that, you know, you may have to send these tests to a laboratory to get testing. So now you're looking at, uh, you know, a significantly high turnaround time. So it's, it's unfortunate right now.